Today I'm going to deploy a Laravel app to Railway in less than two minutes. Tag along. So here we have a freshly built Laravel 12 app. Um, I called it Factor 12. Um, my repo here. So we are going to deploy this Laravel app to Railway. So this is a new project screen on Railway. Uh, click on deploy from GitHub repo. Here we have Factor 12. Select the repo. So now Railway is going to create a new project and it's going to set up the service and it's going to build your app. Uh, so here it's already initializing the app and our timer starts now. So we're going to see if this is going to deploy in less than two minutes. So here's the Laravel app building. Railway is automatically building it. So let's view the logs to see what is going on. All right. So we can see that it is using Railpack. Railpack has detected that it's a Laravel app. It has detected no dependencies. So this is a PHP version, node version, it's installing PHP extensions, doing a composer install, an MPCI, MPMCI, and then of course running all the PHP addition commands. So Railpack is, you know, a new app builder that we released like two weeks ago. It's a better version of Nixpacks. Basically solve all the issues that we've had and also makes deploys faster. So this is almost, this is almost done. Okay, let's see, one minute. Let's see how long this is gonna take. Deploying. Okay. So on seven seconds. So this took over a minute, but of course less than two minutes. All right, so let's see. Um, one thing, we've not added our variables, our environment variables, very important. So we are gonna open our editor. So we have it here. So I am just going to remove this DB connection for now, all of these, because right now we are using uh, SQLite. So I don't want to change anything there. So here, app key, very important. Uh, to copy come here here uh let's change from looker to production and changes to factor 12. okay so i think we are basically good to go for now of these variables and then deploy okay so it's building it again and um, this deploy should be faster than the previous one so in the logs here you're going to see you see it's it's creating migration preparing database running migrations and all of that that is going to the sqlite <clears throat> okay so that has deployed all right so let's go ahead and just quickly generate a domain so that we can see our app in action. So this will generate a dot railway domain, dot railway dot app. So let's see. Voila. So this is our app, our Laravel app. So you can click login. You can try to log in here, but we don't have any user. So you can register. So if you register here, at least this should work. Let's see prosper. Prosper at railway.com. Let's give it a random password. Okay, you see, register those and we are logged in. So, profile, dashboard, and then we can log out again. We have our app working. That's it. So, now, right now, it uses the SQLite database, the SQLite database. And the challenge here now is because we are running on containers, you know, containers have ephemeral storage. So once any redeploy happens, our SQLite database will disappear to be erased. And then it's going to recreate it again and we're going to lose data. So you are either going to have to set up a volume if you want to keep using SQLite or you just go ahead and set up Postgres or MySQL. So let's set up Postgres here. So we set up a new database progress, Postgres, and then we are going to switch from SQLite to Postgres. So as it's spinning up the instance, 
we are going to go to our variables for our app here and we are now going to do db underscore connection is equals to pgsql so we are saying hey we want the connection to be postgres and then we're going to do db okay let's not do that here uh click on update so this deploying once this okay this is done db underscore url postgres key dot database url add so let's look at the changes we are adding uh db connection pgsk db url this deploy okay so this is going to redeploy a larva app uh taking that into consideration so you can see this arrow this arrow means okay so this service is connected to this service so this service is using this database um okay so this is building and once this is done deploying i mean it's going to run migration on every deploy right so we are going to just check the postgres database if our tables has, have been created and we have you know data in it and then of course we are going to reload our app again all right so this has it run the migration so let's come to our postgres and see voila okay so you see all our tables are here migrations jobs password reset sessions users good to go so if we open that up again now actually this is the url here if we reload it uh let's register again let's say prosper register good we are logged in okay so profile come here to the dashboard and then we can log back out that's it so we have deployed the Laravel app, we have connected it to a Postgres database, and voila, it's that simple. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.